Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a featured product slider on Shopify. So as you can see here, we are currently on the homepage of my test store for tutorials. And as you can see, we have a featured product slider that you can easily slide through and prominently feature some of the products that you want to feature prominently in this featured product slider. And in order to add this to your Shopify store, you don't need to use any code as well. So this is a no code tutorial. So all you need to make sure that you have is the newest version of the Shopify online store themes, which I'll be diving into in just a little bit here in order to utilize this featured product slider. So as long as you're using the newest themes with Shopify, you should be good to go. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial of how to build this featured product slider on Shopify. But before we dive into things, I do want to mention you go ahead and check out that first link down below in the description. If you don't already have a Shopify store, that will take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. Again, that will take you to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So of course, you're going to want to make sure that you are first and foremost logged into your Shopify dashboard. Now, before we dive into the online store theme editor and diving into how to actually build it, you do need to make sure that you have your featured products set in a collection. So setting up what products you actually want to feature. So all you have to do first, you have to come over here to the product section. And then underneath products, of course, you're going to want to make sure you actually have products added to your Shopify store to actually feature. So make sure that you've added, uh, I would say at least 10 products is best for this. Uh, you can do it with less and get by with having less products featured, uh, but it really does look a lot better if you have more of a diverse product set to actually feature in this uh, widget on the Shopify store. It just looks a little bit better and cleaner. If you do have more products to feature, again, I would target around the 10 product range or just under that, maybe seven or eight. Uh, but it just looks a little bit better with more products. Of course, you can do it with less as well, which I'll be showing you a few of the different visual styling options uh, that you have as well. But of course, once you've added your products, as you can see here, I have plenty of products to select from. You've added some products to your Shopify store. Next, you're going to come over here to collections, and this is where you're going to select what products are then featured in the slider. So currently on the this uh, featured product slider, I'm currently featuring the watch collection. So there's seven products listed uh, inside the watch collection. Now I'm going to be creating again, a brand new one from scratch. So you can see this step-by-step -step exactly how to build this uh, within your own Shopify store. So we're going to go ahead and utilize the homepage collection uh, that I currently have. Now, as you can see here, there's only two products. So we're going to want to add more products to this collection. Now, if you don't have any collections, all you have to do is click create collection and boom, you can easily start adding products to your collection. Uh, but again, I already have a few here. So if you don't have anything here, most Shopify stores do start out with like a homepage collection just from scratch. But of course, if you don't have one, go ahead and click create collection. Otherwise you can just edit one that you currently have. Or again, maybe if you already have a collection that you want to feature, just go ahead and skip later in this video uh, when we get to adding it into the online store. But we're going to go ahead and add the products to the collection here uh, to make sure that you have some. So we're just going to go ahead and add a few in here. Let's go ahead and add jeans, uh, beanie. We already have a couple of watches in there. We're going to go ahead and add the shirt, uh, the pants. I think that's four, five, six. I think that's six. So we're going to go ahead and add one more. Let's go ahead and add the Submariner. Click done. So that's about seven products. Okay, cool. So, you know, that should give us at least some diversity in terms of making it look a little bit better. Once you've got that done, it should auto save, but make sure you have that saved. And there we go. We've got our featured product collection created. So once you have that, as you can see here, you have seven products. And that's all you have to do for that step. So if again, if you already have a collection with products, uh, then you could easily just select that. Uh, and go from there. So next, once you have your products added to your featured product collection uh, that you want to feature, next you're going to come over here to online store. Now currently I am using the latest version of the Dawn theme on Shopify. This is part of the online store 2.0 setup. Uh, I'm not sure exactly which 
version that you necessarily need to in order to do this on your Shopify store. But as long as you're using the most up-to-date version of their online store 2.0 themes, which again, there are a ton of different free themes from Shopify, whether it's Dawn, Refresh, Craft, Sense, Ride, or a bunch of other free themes that are made with Shopify, you should be able to do this. Again, no coding required as well. Uh, so you should be able to do this with other themes as well. But again, I'm just, I'm currently using the Dawn theme. So I figured I would share that as to what theme I'm using and what theme this is working on. Again, Dawn theme is super popular, uh, but again, this should work on other uh, Shopify themes as well, uh, as long as you're using the newest versions uh, of those themes, again, in the online store 2.0 uh, setup within Shopify. So we're going to go ahead and then click customize inside the theme, and this will bring up the theme editor. Next, once the theme editor loads in here, uh, we're going to make sure, okay, so we are on the home page here. We scroll down, as you can see here, we have the featured product slider. Uh, this is the featured collection that I already have listed on the homepage. We're gonna go ahead and build another one from scratch right here. So all you have to do is then click add section um, inside here. Alternatively, you could also click add section here uh, as well on the left-hand navigation bar. Uh, but we're just gonna go ahead and click add section with the little blue plus and we're gonna go ahead and add it actually underneath the, this section here just so you can see the difference between the two. So we're gonna click add section and the theme section you're gonna to wanna to select for this is the featured collection. So once you have that selected, this will then add the featured collection. Now there are a few settings that you do need to select in order for this to work and in order for it to show the slider. So once you have this here featured collection, we're gonna go ahead and we, we can leave the heading size. You could change the, the text as well. So if you wanna change this from featured collection maybe to uh, featured products, you could do that as well. So we're gonna change that to featured products. You can add a little description here. Uh, if you want to add a description, you can do that there. Again, not necessary as we scroll down here. Uh, then you will see the section with the various different product cards uh, and other available settings for the featured collection. So we're going to go ahead and select the collection uh, in here. So maybe you've already added your heading, description. Uh, you can easily do that as well. Uh, the, the style as well, maybe if you want it as sort of a subtitle, uppercase. Uh, you can change the stylings there. We're going to go ahead and select the collection for homepage. So once we have selected the home page collection, as you can see here, by default, it's just going to list out the products like this. And depending on the product images that you have selected and the dimensions, it may look a little wonky at first, but I believe you can change that so that they should uh, align properly like how it's aligning properly with the watches. So once we go down in here in the featured collection, uh, you've selected your featured collection. Now currently it's just showing four products. So you can edit the maximum products to show. Uh, you can also make the products full width as well. So if you want it to be full width, uh, we're gonna disable that. You can also have a view all if the collection has more products than shown. Uh, that's not necessarily as applicable to this example, uh, but you know, you can easily add that there. Now the big checkbox that you're going to want to make sure is that you enable carousel on desktop. So that you're going to want to make sure that you enable there. And instead of the maximum products to show, we're going to drag that up into, uh, eight and nine. And as you can see here, we now have the slider featured. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure, of course, that you change the maximum products to show because by default, it's only going to show four and then you're gonna be like, well, where's the slider? Where's the slider, right? So in order for the slider to show, you have to make sure that you select the maximum products to show to be at least above four, uh, depending on the number of columns that you've selected here as well, which I'll get into in just a second. Uh, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you up that number. So maximum products to show, you can drag it all the way up to 25 and just have a really long slider uh, if you wanna feature that many products. Of course, we only have seven products inside this collection currently, so that's not really necessary. Um, but as you can see here, we have the featured product slider. Now, again, the product images are various different sizes, so you know it may 
it'll be easier if your products are all similar uh, shapes and sizes but we can also change that as well so maximum products to show we're going to leave that at 15 10 we'll just go down to 10 really doesn't matter because we only have seven in this collection now the number of columns are going to adjust based on how many rows of products you want in the slider this will also change the sizing a little bit too so again this is why i mentioned that it's best to have at least 10 you know seven to ten products at least to have the slider kind of look a little bit more filled out otherwise it's going to be a little bit more limited now currently you know i like to leave it on number of columns on desktop to be four uh, if you change it to five it will shrink the sizing a little bit which can be good as well we're going to go ahead and click save and we're going to show what that looks like on the live version of the site as well just so you can get a better idea of the sizing so this I believe is on four and then if you change this this is on five so as you can see here uh, four is the column so one two three four that are completely featured within the margins on your site five as you can see here we have five products featured in the margins and if you click the slider as you can see here now you can slide through the other various products uh, as well so if you want five now we can also adjust this to be even less so maybe if you want three uh, maybe if you depending on the size this really comes back to what image size your products are uh, and what looks best for your products we're gonna edit the product card in just a little bit here as well showing you some other additional features that you can edit within your product slider so if you want it on three that will then sort of adjust the images as well so if you want it to be three uh, as you can see here they are much larger on three so it it's a little bit harder to uh, to view it again comes back to what types of products you have how big you want them to look this is a little bit odd just because of the shaping here so i wouldn't necessarily go with three just because it makes the the products very large so i like to stick with four as a good happy medium again depending on the products you have you can go down to one or two uh, but the number of columns i like to go within that three to five and even four is, is probably best for most people now, additionally, you can also make the products full width, which sort of just adjusts the margins a little bit, makes them a little bit bigger. Uh, you can also still enable the view all button if the collection has more products than shown. So this will work if you have, say, 20 products in a collection and you're only choosing to show 10 here in the slider, then people will see the view all button. Uh, in order to view all so as you can see here we drug it down to only showing five products when there's technically seven in this collection so then you can edit the view all button uh, if you want it to be a link if you want it to be an outline button uh, or a solid button as well so you can change that within the slider too uh, and this is all just within the featured collection settings so next we can uncheck that there drag this back up to let's say seven or 10, even though there's only seven, uh, you can also change the color schemes as well. Now, if you do want to edit these color schemes in order to edit the colors themselves, uh, these come back to your theme settings and your theme colors if you wanna change the overall uh, look and feel of the slider. Now, I like to leave it as just white because a lot of these have like a white backgrounds, but you know, some of you guys, if you have maybe black backgrounds or maybe you want some inverse looks, uh, you could do that as well. If you do want to change these accent colors, that will also change the accent color on many other parts of your site. So that is something to keep in mind because it does change the overall color scheme in a lot of other parts of your site. Uh, such as links and just other subsections within buttons and things like that it will update across your site such as you know some of these so accent 2 uh, i believe is the sale color here so that will look a little you know that edits that same color there so that's something to keep in mind with the accent colors but if you want to change them all you have to do is go to theme settings go to colors and boom there you go you've got your accent one accent two uh, that's how you can change the background colors of your slider if you want to. Uh, I'm not going to, of course, because I prefer them just to be, uh, just the background one is just fine. Now, next we have the product card section, which is how you can adapt your image sizes. So if you want things to look a lot cleaner, 
definitely recommend going with the image ratio of square. Now, if you don't want things getting cut off, this comes down to making sure that your image sizes are properly uh, set up. So making sure that your pixels and your ratios are properly set so that they're all similar sizing. Uh, this comes down to your product photography and making sure that your dimensions of your photos are all consistent. Obviously, in this case, they're not consistent. So if you have a consistency issue uh, with your product images, going with square can be a good way to do that or portrait as well. It forces the photos to all be the sim same size so that they're not wonky. As you can see here before, you kind of had one that's short and one that's tall. If we go ahead and refresh this here, now they're all the same size, so it all just looks a lot more uniform. Uh, again, we have the feet and, uh, being cut off here in this image, which isn't the best. You know, it looks better for the shirt and the beanie. Uh, the jeans, sort of, the feet and the shoes are kind of cut off again as well. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind with your product photography. Uh, but this is a way to adjust it as sort of like a quick fix if you want to just adjust the image ratio. Uh, that's what I did with the watches. This is on the square image ratio, and I think that looks pretty clean and pretty nice overall just because of the focal points and where the product photography is focused. For those products versus these ones are a little bit more of a mixed bag, as you can see here. Some of them look pretty good, like the beanie and the shirt, but you know some of them are sort of cut off, like the, the women's pink pants and the jeans little bit cut off the watches not too bad uh, but again that's something to bear in mind with your product photography now you can also show second image on hover I don't believe I have any with a second image uh, but that is something else that you can do here within the product card you can show a secondary image uh, whenever you hover over them by default it will also slightly zoom in when you hover over them as well which I think is pretty nice uh, within the editor here you can also show a vendor if you have a vendor <laughs> these are all just test store for tutorials uh, you can also show a product rating as well uh, if you have any ratings on your products currently I do not have product ratings of course uh, listed but you can show them if the products do have ratings listed on your site uh, of course I have other tutorials on the channel showing you how to add product rating apps and things like that you can also enable a quick add button, which I think is really nice if you just want a quick add to cart button. Uh, you can also have that within your slider here, which is really cool. Uh, and then on the mobile layout, you can change that as well. So if we go down to mobile, uh, as you can see here, uh, we have it listed without a slider currently. So it, because it's two columns, if you go down to one column, as you can see here, it's now one column, but if you want the slider on mobile, uh, you have to enable swipe on mobile, and then that will add the slider uh, for mobile as well. So you do have to do that separately if you want the slider to appear uh, on the mobile version of your site as well. So that's something to keep in mind there. Uh, you can also still go two column on the slider, which makes it a little bit easier, I think, visually, uh, versus the one column on mobile, sort of large. Uh, again, it just depends on your personal preference and what you want and how you want your site to look. So once you enable swipe, uh, you could do that there. You could also alternatively tap or click through the little uh, slider arrows there. Uh, I like it on two columns, so we're going to go with two columns. It just makes it a little bit easier to view uh, based on the sizing. So yeah, that's how you make sure that in the slider is then enabled on mobile as well. Of course, you can go into your custom CSS, theme settings, section padding if you want things to be a slight bit different, but that's pretty much all the different settings here uh, that you have within your featured product slider for desktop and mobile. There's a lot of different ways that you can customize this and make it really match your specific store and your site. And it's nice that this is directly implemented in the Dawn theme on Shopify. And you don't have to use any code to do this. All you have to do is just make sure you edit the right settings on your featured collection. And boom, now you've got a featured product slider on your Shopify store. And I think it looks pretty clean, pretty nice. And yeah, it's just a nice way to feature your products. So that's 
that's how you do it. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Again, if you don't already have a Shopify store, you go and check out that first link down below in the description. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. That will take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful on how to add a featured product slider on your Shopify store. I think they look pretty nice. But anyway, guys, be sure if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and the notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that is all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.